You ready for your hearing? I think so. Does this suit say guilty to you? No, Steve. Don't do this. There's still time to change your plan. Didn't I fire you? No, I don't give up that easy. Listen, Dusty, you do not have to go to jail. I set a bomb. It was a mistake. So what? People got hurt. If I don't take responsibility, who's going to? Where's Meg? Hey, hey, what are you doing here? Why aren't you at Dusty's wedding? Dusty's lost his mind. Get your purse. We do not have a lot of time. No, wait, wait, wait. For what? We need to go down to the courthouse. I need you to speak on behalf of Dusty. You're the only one who can help him. character witness for the defense and say what paul pitted damien and dusty against each other to keep them out of your life that's why they struck out that counts as extraordinary circumstance that needs to get into evidence dust is not meg's responsibility Look, dusty meant something to you once you two were even married for a minute right a lot has happened since then bonnie uh, uh, too much meg what are you saying do you want to help me help dusty or I not i would like to but i don't want to get involved in this mess again so, if Dusty gets 10 or 20 years in prison, can you live with that? You know he's made his choice, Bonnie. What does it matter? What does it matter? What choice matters if he's not thinking clearly, Meg? It sounds very clear to me. Look, once this happens, there's no going back. He's going to do time. I'm sure he's aware of that. Knowing it and living it are two different things, Damien. Look, Dusty would do anything for you and Eliza. Now, if you cannot step up and help him when he needs it, I guess you're just going to have to live with yourself. You have a good picnic. Do you have anyone to represent you, Mr. Donovan? I'm counsel for the defendant. Your Honor. No, Your Honor, I don't. Look, look, hey, you can enter whatever plea you want, but you're going to have to shut up and let me do the talking. Trust me, you do not want to make a scene right now. Is there a problem? No. No, just a little development I wanted to discuss with my client. Your Honor, could we have a minute, please? What's the development? I asked Meg to come and speak on your behalf. Why'd you do that? You will thank me later. No, okay. I don't think so. Where is she? Maybe your powers of persuasion need a tune-up. Look, just have a little faith, Dusty. Thank you, Your Honor. We're ready to present our case. My client would like to enter a plea of guilty. However, I invited a witness to speak on Mr. Donovan's behalf. I don't want you to. Just let me help you for once, please. My name is Meg Snyder, Your Honor. Ms. Snyder is prepared to testify on behalf of Mr. Donovan that his actions were a result of severe provocations and emotional distress and without harmful intent. It was a bomb, not a piñata. What other kind of intent is there? Meg, just take your time. Tell the judge what really happened. Meg, would you like a glass of water? Uh, or hi, hi. Excuse me. Um, I, I don't think Meg should be any more involved in this than she already is. There was, uh, I, I think you'd call it extreme provocation because of me. Your Honor, what's this man doing here? What I have to say has a direct bearing on the actions of Mr. Donovan, and if the situation were reversed, I probably would have tried to blow him up, too. Oh, this is good. And I admit that I'm not the world's most reliable witness right now. Objection. But... Well, denied. I'd like to hear what he has to say. Um, hello? Apparently I'm Paul Ryan, and I was there when the bomb went off. Although, unfortunately, I don't remember it, or anything else for that matter. But uh, I've been asking around, and I've been able to piece together a little bit, I think, of what happened. And I know that technically that's hearsay, but... You know uh, what? Just tell the story, Paul. Nobody is objecting. Pretty eyes. Um, okay, right. So here's what I do know. I manipulated these two into going into some kind of a war. Now, um, I can't be held accountable for what I've done because my brain is pretty much a blank slate. And uh, I think a trial at this point would 
you know, cost the taxpayers a lot of money that they just don't need to spend. You know, why don't we get to the part about the bomb? Uh, right. Okay. Um, uh, I've been told I was kind of a bad guy. But I was very much in love with Meg. And I can see why. And we have the most beautiful little girl together. But I screwed the whole thing up. And then when I tried to get her back, these two guys, they wanted her. And really, who can blame them? Because she's like, she's super hot. And I mean, she must be one hell of a, of a woman. Anyway, these two guys, they figured it out. And they tried to, to pay me back, you know, teach me a lesson with a bomb. And it wasn't supposed to go off, you know. It was like a, a technical malfunction, kind of like what's going on with my brain. So I guess, guys, if what you were trying to do was get back at me, hey... It worked. So uh, that's that's uh, pretty much it. Um, I just wanted you all to know that there was more to the story than some jealous jerk, you know, setting off a time bomb. Is this necessary? If I was the guy that everybody says I was, then you two had every right to try and take me down. And Meg, I'm sorry. Dusty, I'm sorry. I owe you an apology, too, but don't worry about it, okay? Because wherever this Paul Ryan guy was, he's not around anymore. I won't be any more trouble for you. So go ahead, you know, throw the book at me. Um, whatever life I had is gone. And I drove Dusty Donovan to do whatever he did. I don't want to be the cause of any more harm for him. You know what I mean? Mr. Prescott? We don't intend to press charges, Your Honor. You're free to go, Mr. Ryan. Thanks. Thank you, Your Honor. We'll be reconvening in a few days for sentencing. Okay, Dusty, stop, please. I just want to say something. I owe you an apology. You made your choice. Take care. What's <laughs> it? It was over a long time ago. Okay? Yeah. Why now? We wait for your sentence. Come on, let's get out of here. So that's it. We wait for the judge to decide the rest of my life. Yeah. What do you think was going to happen, genius? I thought I'd be in jail by now. Aren't you glad you are? <laughs> Look, Dusty. I know I forced myself on you in the courtroom, but what was I going to do? Stand by and let you give away the next 20 years of your life. I mean, maybe, maybe. If Paul hadn't provoked you, maybe. But those are the facts, and they need to be in a record. You're good That's with it. the lawyer talk. Well, you still doubt me. Look, I assume that you're probably going to try to ditch me again, but forget about it. You're being sentenced, and you need me, whether you like it or not. Can I talk now? No, I already know what you're going to say. You're going to say, you know, I, I, I don't like what you did, and I don't need your help. Thanks. And... Uh, I was just going to say thanks. <laughs>